Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor out here in this beautiful, wait a minute, Big Jim? No, Sea Sport 26 Kodiak, forward, forward leaning windshield, three wipers, independent with window washers, horn up underneath, protected, anchor pulpit with a tilt down right up there, the wheel pivots down to drop your anchor, good strakes, cuts through the water pretty good. You see how steep. And nice and sharp this um, V is in the bow. And then you got a nice revert it's hook all the way back. That's nice. I like the color on this. It's kind of a black and gray. Kind of nice, rich looking. Uh, one of them colors that won't outdate. It's got that nice black on the trim up top. Got the Garmin. Hey, 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 hey. You get some brownie points. Garmin's where it's at. You're making my day. I know I got to set up autopilot, but autopilot, but that's good. Okay, though, on Garmin, it may take me a little bit, but not as long as most of them, and they're precise. I like it. So tomorrow I'll go out and set up the calibrate the radar, the GPS antenna, the autopilot, and do a video on that. <clears throat> but beautiful boat. You got cleats where you need them. Perfect. See, these guys know what they're doing. They put one here just before the bow, so if you have to come in, bow first one dead center one in the rear very nice then you've got uh, look at all the lifting streets you got three there you got your uh, four by four four bunks with swivels triple axle way to go on that you got two and five sixteen shun fall flat four on the trailer wire heavy duty chain foot jack i like that two speed with the brake on the winch spare tire you got the v block led lights sliding windows tinted little bathroom window you know that's one thing with sea sport they do build them nice their wiring is really nice how they install all that their batteries uh their switches well done uh, so they're well put together anyway gear bath oil hubs uh, brown good white bad you got six lugs heavy duty you went to those must be like at least God, you think of 14s, that's to 15, 14, 15s. Let me see, 15s, I would say. Yeah, 15s. Uh, you got brakes ah, on all three axles. That it? Well, yeah, just video for that YouTube through the. Yeah, yeah it is not a bad boat, though. I uh, got 250s instead of twins. You got a left, left hand curve here, right hand here. You got a 15 by 15 Saltwater 2 series Yamaha, which are the dynamite for these for yamahas anytime the v6 you go to the 15 diameter and you do the saltwater 2 series right here the 4.2 liter you got fresh water flush right there your latches are there there and one up front to take the cowling off the top uh, of course like i say i always said you thick thin and you can tell these are stainless but you can tell these will cut these are uh really made for yamahas i mean yamaha makes a good prop they test them all you got a kicker bracket over there you got now see they're getting pretty smart finally the flange coming off the back of the offshore if you can see it goes down to keep that water spray coming up on that leading edge a uh, motor stop i'd use the rams though if it was me <laughs> and goods uh, two uh sea star hydraulics on each motor that's a bonus there's your trim switch there's your latch there and you probably got a latch on the other side your ping pong balls sell balers nice and deep if you see that recess for the cleats bonus there trim tabs all salt water protected stainless steel uh prop shaft drive shaft uh two coats of clear two coats of primer uh you got the that looks like the 54 UHD Garmin transducer. <laughs> yeah, I love that Garmin stuff. You know, if it's good enough for airplanes, it's good enough for boats. 2024, you got Northwest, 26 is a 26 footer, and you got uh, two four at the last digits is 24 foot. You got your bilge, your gas vent, rear deck, DEC, hydraulic steer man he's got it oh this will take me a while to set up and then show, do the videos on it start and stop in the rear uh, one thing i'd probably add on this down the road since you do have rear deck is maybe some zigways on the trim tabs 
I mean, it does have trim tabs, so maybe, you know, but if a guy was to order one, I'd probably do the auto trim tabs because then with this has got auto trim on the motors too. So you could set everything on auto and you could get a rookie back there. It'll uh, actually automatically adjust those for the lean side to side, bow down, bow up. It's all off RPM and it'll trim the motors on top of that. You got your ladder right there. A large nice rail nicely done a lot of style to this rocket launchers led backlight got the good antenna the 5225 or six that's uh reads the whole eight or seven feet i imagine on that antenna seven to eight i think it's seven but it could be six too but i think it's seven it could be eight oh well uh anyway chrome ferrule uh, thick nice you can have the best radio out there but if you go to a cheap antenna you've got a cheap VHF system so you can buy a cheap radio and get a good antenna now you got a dynamite system as far as reaching out transmitting and receiving you got your foot over there to get up on top a little step over there like I say nicely nicely done I would have put a grab handle back here somewhere because when you use this ladder you push in and pull up these are gone. there you go pull down now see to get up on here is kind of a Hello, pull up my britches so I don't lose them. But see right here, would have been nice to have a handle either there or there. Because when I get up, I have to go like, yeah, grab that. These inspection caps, that's made to get down to the lower parts, bolt on the motors, the lower bolt holes, rear entry, gas. I put in like 60 gallons of premium. You got LED lights, or not LED, but cockpit lights. On that fish box, one for that side, one for the other side. The worst out pump works. Just nice foot toe holes right under here. You can lock your feet up under here. They put the batteries down into here, which gives you more room in the back. You got nice gutter systems for the water to come off the deck and out the ping pongs. Just really clean. Door stop. There's your wash down if you want. You can undo that and just have a regular faucet going into there. And then here's your battery switches. Your ACR. Close that up. You can just go like that, spin that. Then you can stand over here, spin this. Lift up, autopilot pump, 180 gallon tank. Nice step, that's your Seacog for your wash down. Two of the Yamaha 10 microns, I change them once a year no matter what. If your water gets up so high, you gotta bail out over there, you can see. You got a uh, two, one for each in the house battery. There's your primer bulbs down there. I might leave this up because I'm gonna, well actually I'll prime them when I put it in the water. Sometimes when I initial prime them, it's easier just to start the motor to get the fuel flowing through them, pump them up the rest of the way. So you just drop this red dot instead of this way and put down, it goes this way. That lets you know you're doing it the right way. Large fish boxes. I'll set this up tomorrow. DC control. Now this is nice. I say I have I don't know if this is hooked up, but see how you got your stuff. I don't even know if they knew about this to be the riggers But you see how you got this switch here. That's great and dandy You can start the motors individually or you can start both of them just by pushing that I'll see if that works tomorrow And this is power to power up the system, which is cool, too Huh Center engine single lever you hit that you see they redone these actually pretty cool the station i'll sh show you all that when i'm out there neutral hold trim assist and this has got the rpm plus the cruise control the gear case in and out come in here see the guy didn't what i would do is i'd build a little bracket or something in here if i was going to cook you know you got your splash well here i just give me a coleman two burner stove nice deep sink and that's not there's a switch up there to turn the pump on on demand light up there your toilet you got privacy curtains nice big bathroom nice and clean easy to clean that's if you hose it out it drains out through there you got your toilet paper dispenser there your pump in fresh water 
You've got your valves right there, easy to get to. They're off right now. That's your direct direct over. You push the lever the other way, macerator pump. You flick that there, you pump it the other way and it goes into your holding tank, refrigerator. Now everything is nice and tight. Wow, air airtight. Kind of a gun. Okay, then this goes down, makes a bed. Little pocket back here. That's all storage. Uh, your sink, I think hot water heater. I think that's only, if I, if I remember right. There it is right there. Okay, that's power electric going in. And let's set up on an inverter. There's your battery starter, battery charger. That could be an inverter. That goes back into there. A lot of room, nice and clean. So that's your sink. Up underneath here is your holding tanks. Up underneath this area. If you lift the carpet up. There you go. See, and then you take this out and you can get to your water holding tanks. So I'm gonna go back to this. That comes up, that comes up. That there, There's your pump. That goes over. Wires go into that. Oh, then you got a 110 switch because you got short power. So then I go into, that's the pump. Water. 